published in 1987, The Drawing of the Three is the second book in Stephen King's Dark Tower series. Roland finds himself awakened on the western sea beach to a swarm of crawling, predatory monsters that have been carried in by the tide. Lobstrosities, as he refers to them, savagely assault him, severing two of his right fingers and his right big toe. Roland heads north along the coastline, sickened by the poison of the lobstrosities. On the beach, he discovers three freestanding doors that, when opened, transport him to various times in New York City. When Roland enters the first door, designated the prisoner, he is stunned to discover that he is on an aircraft landing at John F. Kennedy Airport in 1987. Roland immediately learns that he is living in Eddie Dean's body, who is a drug mule for Enrico Balazar who is on his way back from a cocaine operation in the Bahamas. Roland tells Eddie precisely what to do to rescue himself since he has to make his presence known in order to assist Eddie pass customs. They sneak into the lavatory, transport the narcotics to mid-world, and get back into the aircraft just before the pilot opens the door. Agents from customs search Eddie but discover nothing. Eddie is picked up outside his flat by Balazar's thugs, who are holding his brother Henry hostage. He is brought to Balazar's pub, the Leaning Tower, by his men. Balazar asks him about the narcotics that went missing. After stripping him down and searching him, Jack Andalini is permitted to go with Eddie into the lavatory where Eddie says he can retrieve the narcotics. Eddie battles Andalini in the lavatory before dragging him into mid-world, where the lobstrosities are waiting for him. He is shot on the beach by Roland. After their separate returns to Balazar's restroom, Eddie gets Roland some antibiotic packets from the medical cabinet. Eddie finds that Henry is dead when he hears Balazar conversing with one of his guys outside. Eddie and Roland go up against Balazar and his soldiers, killing them all, albeit Roland has some difficulties because of his missing fingers. After that, Eddie and Roland hear law enforcement assembling outside, and as there is nothing left for Eddie in New York, he chooses to accompany Roland on his mission. Back in Midworld, Eddie gives Roland lobstrosity meat and medications to help him heal from his wounds. Following his recovery, Roland enters via the second door, the Lady of Shadows. When the door opens, Eddie can see New York through Odetta's eyes and begs Roland to go with him. Roland says no, thinking Eddie is only looking for a heroin hit, which enrages Eddie as he makes threats to murder Roland. Roland makes his way back to New York, this time in 1964 when he finds two ladies in a wheelchair in Macy's department store. The first lady is Odetta Holmes, member of a rich family, and civil rights activist who just got back from a freedom ride across Alabama and Mississippi. The other lady is Detta Walker, a cunning character driven by deadly anger against white males. When Roland shows up, Odetta doesn't know who Detta is or that she's thieving costume jewelry. Roland pushes the wheelchair into a dressing room when a store detective witnesses Detta stealing. Odetta and Detta are brought into mid-world by Roland when Eddie unlocks the portal. Odetta is surprised to discover that she is in mid-world. Eddie reassures her and shares his knowledge with her. Believing herself to be in a coma after being beaten in Oxford, Mississippi, Odetta shows Eddie the scar she received when a brick landed on her head on a trip to New York as a youngster. Eddie discloses his addiction to her. Roland attempts to warn Eddie about the other lady, Odetta, saying that she has a different personality. Detta Walker comes forth during the night, and Eddie witnesses her personality as she attempts to murder them. They fasten Detta to the wheelchair. She fights them while being bound because she thinks they want to abuse and murder her. Roland has to leave Eddie alone with Odetta and Detta as he enters the third door, as his illness from the lobstrosity bites returns. 
Roland enters the third door and returns to New York in 1977, assuming the identity of Jack Mort, a serial murderer. Mort sometimes merely maims instead of killing. For instance, Mort only injured the five-year-old Odetta Holmes when he struck her head with a brick, resulting in the creation of her second identity, Detta Walker. Furthermore, he only injured Odetta as an adult by pushing her in front of a metro train, which severed her legs. Jack Mort is unaware that he had assaulted the same individual again. Jake Chambers is heading to school when Jack Mort's body is invaded by Roland. Roland first worries that he has infiltrated Walter's body and that Walter would force Roland to shove Jake into oncoming traffic. Jake is in danger even after Roland discovers he is inside Jack Mort's body. By moving forward, he saves Jake's life by stopping Jack from shoving him in front of a car. Walter is nowhere to be seen. When Roland sees Jack's memories, he understands Jack's relationship to Odetta and comes up with a scheme to help Odetta and Detta. Jack knows that Roland is there, but because Jack is a monster, Roland just takes over his body. Using Jack's Rolex, he buys more medications and supplies for himself, Eddie, and Odetta. As he gets ready to go back to Midworld, he brings Jack's body to the train station on Christopher Street, where Odetta lost her legs three years before. In Midworld, he sends Odetta a mental message telling her to peek through the door right then. Roland leaves Jack on the tube tracks as he rushes to the door with the gun and medication after catching a glimpse of her face. Detta and Odetta see the train collide with Jack. The tragedy unites the two women into Susanna, a new, stronger personality. Susanna becomes a part of Cotet, which means sharing the same destiny and, one made from many, together with Roland and Eddie, the tower being their common destiny. Eddie has feelings for Susanna and declares his love for them both and that he will teach them to be gunslingers, but he cannot guarantee they won't die in the process. All he can say to Eddie is that there are more powerful forces than them in the world. The three individuals Roland selects, are draws, from the various histories of America in the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s are referred to as the drawing of the three. After he gets them all to mid-world, two of them join him as the Cotet, his comrades for the duration of his adventure. A single word that functions as a subtitle is shown on a page in the front matter of every book in the series. This term, renewal, for the drawing of the three, alludes to Roland's process of reviving himself for the journey by training apprentice gunslingers and forming a Cotet. Eddie and Susanna, who start over in mid-world, are also examples of renewal. If you have any suggestions of which book I should summarize, please let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.